But first up tonight, um, I want to talk about the Jackie Trad school principal scandal, which has exposed massive concerns between the public bureaucracy in Queensland and the senior cabinet executive. Now, on what planet could former Deputy Premier Trad ever think it was reasonable to so-called interview a prospective school principal? That's not the role of an elected representative. Full stop, period. She's escaped criminal sanctions after a damning 157-page report from the Crime and Corruption Commission. And she now says she's been vindicated from a malicious smear campaign orchestrated by the LM LMP. But the reality is Ms Trad has been linked to Fitzgerald-style concerns of a public service that was fearful of its political masters. Now, this was a recruitment process for a principal that was driven off the rails, according to the Triple C. Alarm bells should ring for people when a Triple C report quotes extensively from the Fitzgerald inquiry, which blew the lid on corruption in Queensland during the Bielke-Peterson years. The fact that Mrs Trad had very different recollections of her conduct and behaviour during these key meetings between departmental officers and the failed candidate is also a matter of concern. It's the second time Ms Trad has escaped criminal sanctions from the Triple C in the past year, and the Triple C found she had not committed any criminality after her husband bought a house in the same footprint of the new Cross River Rail project. Now, she was the minister responsible for that $5 billion project at the time, but the Triple C did recommend a raft of new laws since passed by Queensland's parliament that would mean that... Uh, any politician doing what Ms Trad did with the house purchase would now go to jail. Would now go to jail. Trad remains on the backbench and she won't be drafted back into Cabinet before October 31. That much is right. But if the Palaszczuk government wins on October 31 and she miraculously happens to retain her seat, she'll be back in Cabinet. You can bet London to a brick on that. How will these scandals affect Labor at the upcoming election? Well, it won't help. But it seemingly doesn't resonate with true believer Labor supporters. The red shirt scandal in Victoria had no impact on Labor. In fact, Labor increased its vote at the last Victorian election. Maybe voters are just used to political corruption scandals nowadays. Such a shame. Such a shame.